Hello and welcome to another week of new releases and sneak peeks. I have some super exciting ones I think too. We'll talk about them. Um, I did want to let you know because I did not film this look but I did use the Club Nebula which is the collab between Kaleidos and Angelica Nikvist. Um, I love this so much. I am so gutted that they don't that they didn't make this a permanent because it's amazing um yes yeah, so i used that and oh my god this highlight just just look at that that is from the unearthly cosmetics low light palette and oh my god these these highlighters are just amazing so this is the highlighter that i have on my face and then on my lips i just popped a green lipstick it was one from she glam and then i've just dab some of this highlighter over top and I'm loving it so I am going to move myself on over to the side okay so first up um, is a new collection from Colourpop um, I did want to mention it because it's, it's intriguing a little bit um, but there's the new resting beach face collection and it consists of the Get In Fresh eyeshadow palette, six matte bronzers, and so glassy lip gloss. Um, the palette, I think, is more of a an interesting neutral palette for, say, some of you that prefer a neutral look, want to try a bit of colour. You can add some pops of green. There's a pink and an orangey pink highlight by the looks of it. Um, highlight, shimmer, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I think this palette would be really good for those of you not confident with colour, but you want to give it a go. Um, I actually, yeah, quite, I quite like the look of this. Um, the So Glassy Lip Glosses, um, yeah, they look right. Um, but the matte bronzers, now these interest me, especially they've got six shades, which, yeah, I appreciate. Yeah, they look nice. I like the packaging. Packaging's actually really, really nice for Colourpop. Like, kind of classy. Yeah. If I'm talking funny, it's because I bit my tongue this morning. And it's really sore. And it keeps catching on my teeth. Um, but anyways, so this collection will be available May the 26th at 8am PST. Uh, you can use here code trend mood for 10% off um yeah i think it's a nice collection let me know what you think and then moving on there's a new makeup brand alert and as soon as i saw this picture i was like oh okay i'm interested so this new brand is the culture cosmetics they're based in the usa it's black family owned cruelty free and vegan and paraben free and the first product here is the 400 Years Eyeshadow Palette. It represents the history, beauty and resilience of the subcultures created from the African diaspora. The palette contains 12 beautiful custom formulated eyeshadow pigments. I love the look of this. That eyeshadow palette. Oh, And then seeing the makeup. I mean that model is absolutely stunning and the different colors under her eyes wow absolutely gorgeous the swatches yeah i like the look of the swatches and it looks like a couple of the shades might be a little shifty i'm super intrigued by this um it looks like there's a wait list. It says sign up to their wait list. Um, I don't have a price here. Yeah, super intrigued. Super intrigued. Love the colour story. The outer packaging is... Oh, see, I love the outer packaging as well. It's absolutely stunning. Okay. I think this is a new brand that I definitely am going to have my eye on. But yeah, this palette looks stunning, guys. Let me know what you think. And then, She Glam have released their Skinfluencer Foundation Balm. Um, retailing for, it says $8.49. Um, I don't know what that is in pounds. 
Um, I should have looked this up. Um, it says here, a foundation with a silky texture that feels like second skin in velvet-like cream formula. Comes in 30 shades. It's full coverage. Lightweight, buildable, long wear. Active ingredients to moisturise. Safe for sensitive skin. Talc-free, alcohol-free and hypoallergenic. Um, the compact is recyclable. Okay, this... I'm super interested in this. I have both of the other foundations, the bottle foundations. I love both of them. The slightly matte one is a very good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Um, and the hydrating one is just amazing too. They're beautiful. They last all day. So I am super, super intrigued to try this. I do love that they have 30 shades. Um, that's better than some of the more kind of mainstream brands do. I think they've done a good job there. Let me know what you think. I mean, I I may be wrong. <laughs> um, it does say here, inclusive 30 shade foundation range. And looking at the picture of the swatches, yeah, I, I'd have to agree. So yeah, I, I'm super intrigued. I think this is something I am at some point soon going to have to pick up and try. Because yeah. I love their other foundations so much so yeah interested to see what this is like let me know if any of you guys are, have picked this up or are picking this up i'm definitely interested in that right moving on to so next up is nabla cosmetics i love nabla as a brand i'm actually wearing the nabla bronzer today it is available now and this is their new Angel Aura Radiant Plumping Serum Primer. It says here, it gives a radiant finish and creates a plumped and lifted result designed to prepare the skin before applying makeup and to help the base last longer. Makes the face a compact, smooth canvas. It acts both on skin firmness and texture, providing an immediate effect which also lasts over time. Light infused with a hint of a peachy undertone without leaving actual colour. It blends and adapts to all skin tones in a luminous transparency, making skin look more healthy and radiant. Um, it retails for €30. Euros. I'm, I'm intrigued by this. It looks beautiful. See, I'm looking at the picture of the before and after. And do you know what? It actually quite reminds me of the Kiko Milano um, the Skin Glowing Primer. Um, I actually have that on under my makeup today. This looks like it's going to give you pretty much the same, the same kind of effect. It looks beautiful. It does look absolutely gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think and if you're planning on picking this up. So next up, Makeup Revolution have collab collabed with Love Island. Love Island. Okay, it says here, new fun collaboration. If you're a big fan of the Love Island show, this is for you. Um, I've never watched it, but don't come for me if you are a huge fan. Um, no, I, I haven't watched it. Um, it includes an I've Got a Text Forever Flawless palette, uh, retailing for £12 or $18. Um, my type on paper dynamic palette retailing for seven pounds or nine dollars um, I believe that's US dollars. It doesn't state but I think it is uh, Go for a chat dynamic palette for seven pounds or nine dollars Brow fix gel for five pounds or seven dollars pout bomb clear water bottle water bottle Okay um, that's six pounds or eight dollars. Coupled up lip kit, which has, by the looks of it, three shades. Um, that's six pounds or eight dollars. Um, lip oil girl code for six pounds or eight dollars. Bronzer for five pounds or eight dollars. That is, there's two shades: vacation and sunkiss. Highlighter in two shades for five pounds or eight dollars. An Eau de Parfum, 100 mils for £15 or $20. Oh, there are two hideaway or going on a date. Um, they've put that twice with different... Ah, oh, 
10 mil you can get the 10 mil one for six pounds or eight dollars uh body mist is six pounds or eight dollars we're still going here um body butter beach bum for six pounds or eight dollars liquid lava for 15 pounds or 18 dollars whipped tanning mousse ultra dark 10 pound or 10 dollars is that only ultra dark okay a uh, tanning mitt for eight pounds or ten dollars cosmetics bag which is ten pounds or fourteen dollars uh false nails um there are three different types um six pounds or six dollars faux mink false lashes for seven pounds or nine dollars there are one two three three different styles hair scrunchies for six pounds or eight dollars hair clips a six pack for six pounds or eight dollars we're nearly there face and body blender brush for ten pounds or fifteen dollars and a kabuki brush for ten pounds or fifteen dollars it will be available on may the 27th online at makeup revolution website Whew, okay um yeah <laughs> I guess if you are a massive fan of Love Island, that this might interest you. It's a huge collection, a huge collection. And I don't believe they've got everything in these pictures. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd mention it because it is quite a huge collection. And I know that Love Island is a big deal to a lot of you. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, they really need to go that all out with such a huge collection let me know what you think okay so next up is a brand that I hadn't heard of before this is Salem Cosmetics and they have have they already released it yeah available now um, so they have released um, the Great Mother Collection and this includes the Great Mother eyeshadow palette, which has 12 shades. It's limited edition, all shades are cruelty free, um, 35 US dollars and foam ink lashes in two styles for 12 US dollars each. I love the look of this palette. It is quirky. I love the color story. The only thing that puts me off is obviously it being limited edition. I do try not to pick up too many limited edition products because you know then i'm using something you can't get anymore but i think it is an absolutely gorgeous color story let me know what you think but i definitely now have my eye on this brand because i like the aesthetic i love the outer packaging for the eyeshadow palette oh she just looks beautiful with the green eyes and the green like head dress thing absolutely stunning i love it um it's a shame it's limited edition because otherwise i could have definitely sort of seen me pick it up um yeah it is beautiful and the lashes look really pretty too let me know what you think and um, have you heard of this brand um have you tried anything from them i definitely have my eyes on them now both eyes so I'm going to move on. We did talk about this last week, but I now have the full revealed colour story with swatches. This is the Unearthly Cosmetics All I Ever Wanted Volume 2. It's got 20 colourful shades, retails for 86 US dollars, launching on May the 27th at 12pm EST. And oh, this looks absolutely stunning. I have... A couple of palettes from Unearthly Cosmetics. I adore them. Absolutely adore them. Um, beautiful. I love Unearthly Cosmetics as a brand. I love the aesthetic. The products I've tried are amazing. The low light highlighter palette is just the bomb. Well, this is one of the highlighters. Just absolutely stunning. This is gorgeous. Um, if I had the money, I definitely would be picking this up because it's beautiful. I love the look of the swatches. I love Unearthly Cosmetics. Let me know if any of you guys are picking this up. Yeah, it's beautiful. If it is 
in their permanent range then I will at some point own this um, so I'm going to move on to OMFG Cosmetics they have new products coming soon and they are cream blushes um, it looks like there's four shades I don't know if they're going to reveal more um, but anyways the top two look very similar I do love the look of the one on the bottom left the orangey one um, but yeah I thought I'd give this a mention I've no more information just that it's coming soon so next up this is one I'm super excited to talk about this is beautiful shells cosmetics which is a brand I hadn't heard of before they're now on my radar so this is their karma chameleon quads <laughs> oh my god I, I definitely need at least one of these don't I the green one in particular or maybe the purple and blue and red orange blue I love the look of these these look super cute I generally am not a fan of quads um, just purely because I like to have more shades to work with but then I guess you could get more than one of these and oh um, so there are five quads there's peach iris kiwi copper and indigo they retail for 23 US dollars each got a chameleon on it's got a chameleon I this is super cute super super cute yeah I love it I love the chameleon on the front he is just so cute and he's got a smile on his face super cute I love this let me know what you guys think and if you're going to be picking any of these up um oh, I'm so tempted um we'll see I love the look of these and yeah beautiful shells cosmetics is a brand that I hadn't heard of but now I know who they are and I have my eye on them um, let me know what you guys think and um, for any of my beautiful chameleons especially let me know what you guys think beautiful so K Ting's Beauty and Pariah House Cosmetics have collabed to create this palette and this is the Gone Grunge it's a custom palette created by K Ting's Beauty it features nine pans of all shimmers all shimmers duochromes finishes uh, retails for 60 us dollars available now for pre-order cruelty free cru cruelty i can't speak cruelty free vegan and handmade this looks stunning i love the look of the palette i love the outer packaging i love the colors they've chosen the swatches look absolutely amazing so looking into this i think kating's beauty is an influencer and then prior house cosmetics is the brand um apologies i've not heard of either but i'm definitely going to be checking out her instagram because her looks look absolutely stunning so quick quick nosy yeah absolutely gorgeous okay let's just make sure i'm following okay so now i'm following kating's beauty um prior house cosmetics is a new brand to me i definitely have my eye on them looking at those swatches they look so beautiful i think that kating's beauty has done a fantastic job with this color story absolutely gorgeous let me know what you guys think um then moving on to um another new brand alert so this is intrigued cosmetics it's a new beauty brand based in florida it's cruelty free and vegan um it, launching soon so some product products that have been revealed are six sparkly shadows and four matte shadows um so these are singles they look stunning I do love the look of these I love the colors they've chosen as well interesting um, 
I don't have any more information um, at this moment. But yeah, intrigued cosmetics, I am intrigued by. Definitely. Um, that was so corny. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I'm super excited to see what else this brand is going to launch. Yeah, another one I have my eye on. So the final launch that I have to talk about, final launch, final new release, um, is a collaboration between Cursed Cosmetics, one of my favourite brands, and Le Leda I Bite. I apologise if that's not right. Um, I believe she's an influencer. Let me have a look. She's a makeup artist, cosplayer, actor, vampire. Love it. So yeah, they have collaborated to create this Bites eyeshadow palette. It contains 12 beautiful shades of mattes, shimmers and chromed. It's dropping on May the 26th. Um, this is gorgeous. I love the fact that it's shaped like a coffin. Um, different shaped palettes don't really bother me. I know a lot of people don't like them so much because of storing them but I think this is beautiful I love the color story I think she's done an amazing job with the color story so yeah guys let me know what your thoughts are I am going to move myself back on over to Okay guys, so that is all I have for you for this week. Again, if you spot anything throughout the week that you, like new releases, sneak peeks, um, that you would like to hear about, that you know maybe I've missed, um, then do tag me or pop me a DM on Instagram, let me know. And yeah, I will do my best to mention everything um so yes guys thank you so much for watching i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon goodbye the low light eyeshadow low light eyeshadow, there the low light i can't think what the fucking word is right the low light low there <laughs> i can't get that out